Hello you viewers, this is the one and only Mr. PC Gamer here and and today we'll be discussing Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. The hype train is real guys and even the leaks. So there's been a few leaks on um, 4chan and Reddit and um, there's, there's even been a Japanese website called, I can't remember if it's called to it's to something and apparently they're the one that leak um they're the ones that leak Koro Koro early um official Koro Koro news and stuff so there's a few leak on few leaks on there so um yeah I'll do a top five video um soon not right now once we get more information we only got you know the logos and a little bit of concept art concept art so let's talk about pokemon sun and moon pokemon sun and moon is announced worldwide in nine languages late the holidays late 2016 what i think when it will come out i think it will come out september or october around there which is a good thing because then we'll have, um, you know, just in time for Christmas and stuff. And the leaks hasn't stopped since. We're getting leaks everywhere, left, right, and center. Like, take this for example. These are supposedly the um, starters for the new game. But this was um, spotted as fake because there was an image... Um, before with the water um, flying water type Pokemon um, that was meant to be fake as well I kind of like the design for the water flying type well who knows it could be water flying we definitely know if this was real it would be a water type but it, it does look like a pretty good design um, if this was in the game I would definitely choose it um, for this, the fire type, I don't really like the design. Um, I think it's meant to be like a lion, like a baby lion or something. Um, but yeah, it doesn't. It looks too plain in my opinion. And then we've got this weird grass type thing, Majiggy. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't look. It looks too weird to be a starter. Um, then we've got this weird uh, snail looking one, a water snail. Um, this is supposedly fake as well. Um, it's been, I think this is on 4chan or something and it's been fake. It's been proven fake. But the design looks pretty good. We don't, I don't think we have a snail type Pokemon. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I can't remember. Then, we've got this, this owl grass type. Everyone's been um, leaking this on 4chan, Reddit, and the new, I don't think it's new, but, and the website that leaks Koro Koro. They've posted this, and then they've removed the um, post straight after. So, this could be real, we don't know. Hopefully they reveal some. Koro Koro information about the new games. Um, we won't get the starters probably until the middle of the year. So hopefully, if this is revealed, um, I'll definitely choose this as a starter as well as the fire type. So um, yeah, it does look like an owl. Um, I wonder what the um, final evolution will look like. It'll probably looks similar to Noctowl sort of, but. Um, in a grass type way <laughs> so um, yeah then we've got um, concept art from the games there's the what I really like is the Pokemon ambulance so maybe in different routes they'll have the ambulance um, truck or van um, which would be pretty cool so if your Pokemon is low health and you have to verse the new team evil team for example you can go to the um, ambulance 
and we've got a few coins to up for the trucks. Um, I'm not sure where this region is based in. Everyone's saying it's in Hawaii or Singapore or something because of the number plate of this van. It looks like a Hawaii number plate van, but what I hoping that they don't add is where we can drive the van. I d I don't think that would be a good mechanic for Pokemon games. It would be a bit weird. Um, then they've got this, which I really like. The Blastoise on the fire truck. So there must be like a... There might be like a script event where... Um, there'll be a Blastoise on the fire truck or something. Just a little um, script event or something like that. And then we've got this Wingo here. Um... And the ocean. Maybe we'll be traveling to different lands with a boat or something, similar to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Um, who knows? And then we've got this the Pokemon Center. I really like how the Pokemon Center is round and the design. The design looks really good to it. I, th I think it's, it's pretty amazing how they um, made it. Then they've got the back and the sides. I'm not sure. Um, what's that for? They probably just wanted to show it all on paper so they can draw it out in the game or something. Who knows? Um, then we've got this little bird thing that looks like Fletchling, but it is a definitely a, a new um, Pokemon. It's in the 3D um, scaling program. I can't remember what it was called. But I'm pretty sure um, it's the new flying type Pokemon, similar to Fletchling and Pidgey and um, all that um, type stuff. So hopefully this gets revealed first, then um, any other stuff, because then we can confirm that this is the new flying type. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail details here, but. This is probably like inside buildings. Um, I reckon this is the Pokemon. I reckon they'll have two types of um, Pokemon. There'll be like a first floor and a second floor. Um, yeah, that'd be very interesting if they did that. Then they have um, the slacking on top of this um, hotel. You might be able to stay in this hotel and sleeping and heal up and stuff. Um, and this place, I think this is a gym. Um, everyone's saying, everyone else thinks that it's a um, hotel as well, but just because of the water design and the horsey and a few um, water type Pokemon here, I just think it will be a pretty good gym, water type gym. And then we've got the awesome creator <laughs> Jinichi Masuda um, pointing at a um, poster or um, art it looks to me like a coffee shop so um, similar to X and Y they'll probably bring back the coffee shop um, which I think is a good idea that that would be, be pretty good you can order coffee and, and drink it <laughs> probably there'll be no use or something but we'll give it a try um, yeah, so then we've got this last image, which is proven fake once again. Um, these two are probably obviously the legendaries, but it's fun to look at the leaks and all the stuff that happens um, around Pokemon Sun and Moon. So yeah, like I said before, new games announced, the hype train's real. Hype! Like I'm so excited because all all of these leaks like will make you wonder. Oh, I wonder if this would be in the game or or something like that. So um, yeah, it's pr it's pretty cool to see awesome leaks. And then we've got another image of um the owl again. Um, who knows if the owl will make it into Pokemon? That's probably like an an R, or they'll probably scratch it and design a totally different Pokemon, so um, we'll have to see. 
Yeah guys, so I hope you like this uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon discussion. I'm pretty excited for the new games. I already pre-ordered both of them. Um, um, yeah, like I said, I already pre-ordered both of them. Um, so I'll be playing these games like a lot. And I forgot to mention that Pokebank will also be used for this game. So when, when you um, get the Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow Virtual Console version, you can transfer those Pokemon into Sun and Moon, which is pretty good in my opinion, and um, not so good because if you want to transfer Pokemon from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire into the new games, you can't because of the way they programmed it, I guess. Um, shout out to the PKM and cast for um, someone in there saying that um, this might be like a marketing um, thing, so it will make people buy red and blue. And because if people like Gen 1ers only play Kanto games, they'll buy the 3DS versions of Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow just so they can transfer those Pokemon to Sun and Moon. So, you know, Gen 1ers can enjoy the new game and the old games as well. So, um, I'll put the PKM and Cars website in the description below. If you want to check them out, they're pretty good um, podcasts. I listen to them every morning I go to school. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's it, guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe for more content. Um, Twitter and my DeviantArt page, my Twitch, all in the description. Um, like this video. Question of the day, and the question of the day is, would you play Pokemon Sun No. Are you excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon? Because I am. So guys, that's it, and I'll see you guys next time.